Hello. So, uh, I made the video about the diptyque and uh, Jonas Carrot that supplied me with some uh, foil once before and some other ideas uh, sent me the uh, patent from diptyque I could not find. So that's really nice. The only problem is it is all in French. You know, I had to like use Google Translate to kind of read it, but uh, you might know might know that a patent is not easy to read to begin with, let alone if it's translated by uh, Google in this case. But I needed to make a new video because uh, the magnet structure is different than uh, I thought it would be uh, according to their pictures. Because there was some uh, vital information missing on those. In the picture we do see the uh, magnets and then like one side is colored red, one side is blue. Normally that indicates one side is north, the other one is south. That's not how they did it. So this is what they actually meant with their bipolar magnet. Which I believe actually is called a multipole magnet. Like you see in rubber magnet and that's the reason why they probably use rubber magnet. Or at least that's my guess. Because I've only seen multiple magnets in rubber magnets. Might be possible to do it in normal magnets. I don't know, actually. Never seen one. But anyhow, uh, yeah, so the magnet consists kind of of two magnets in one. A place like this. And the substrate where it's sitting on, in this case, can be metal. Because this north here will connect through the metal to the south there and you will gain a you have a stronger field here so that's what they did so this is how they drew it up on the website and some coloring but this is actually how it how it sits you can see here not very clearly but here they drawn the field goes from here to there or the other way around but that's where the field is concentrated. Now I modeled this in FEM. That's this one. It uses iron and uh, yeah. So this is the arrangement. And uh, you can see the, uh, the strongest field is just above the magnet as seen in, in the picture here. Uh, now if I do this and then we'll see how the uh, field changes from left to right. And then you get all these peaks. So maybe you put here uh, traces that run upwards and then in this thing that is minus the same amount as this, you'll have uh, the coil run down and then it swaps around every time, uh, multiple times. More, twice as, as much as in a normal push-pull. So that's one thing. Uh, uh, the field strength is at least in the middle of the magnet pretty strong, a little bit stronger than the one I make uh, made without any metal uh, like a few days ago because that was like somewhere here, 2.8. So this is stronger. It's still not as strong as a regular push-pull. And someone asked, can you measure how linear it is in this direction. So here we are already half a millimeter from the magnet. Let me do it from the start of the magnet if I can. That makes it simpler. The only problem is that then the whole graph is fucked up. So exactly above the magnet it is like two Tesla. <laughs> and then half a millimeter above the magnet is only like 0 0.6. Um, one millimeter away from the magnets, it's, it's actually like 0 0.5. And then it drops even further. So I'm not sure if this is very linear. Let me measure that again without starting to measure here on top of the magnet, but just slightly above. So there. We have a little bit more uh, detail. So this is only we're only looking at like half a meter 
half a millimeter uh, excursion from where the membrane is sitting normally. So from here till there is minus one millimeter, and from here to there is plus half a millimeter excursion. So you can see, uh, well, I don't know, I wouldn't call this linear. I mean, yeah, it's not at all linear. The only thing I ask myself is, because the next row will do the opposite. And then the question arises, maybe it will equalize kind of out. But then again, this should be like, you know, and not, yeah, I don't know. In a normal push pool, it would be much more, um, more linear to be fair. And I can show you that. So we go to a normal push pull variant. This one. And we do the same. This looks terrible. Uh, or terrible. It looks weird. But actually uh, it isn't. So it's in the middle. It's a little bit stronger field. 0.41. And this is 0 0.395 at the weakest. So it's very close. Although this looks more terrible, if we just look at the numbers, it is way better than this. So I don't know. Maybe this will be linear if you add all the other coils and it like, I don't know. This is linear no matter what. So, that's weird. Let's also take a look at how linear it is sideways, or at least how uh, flat the, or even the magnetic field is in the gap where the uh, coil is actually sitting. So, This picture is the magnetic field from one magnet side to the other, crossing the foil. This picture is left to right instead of uh, front to back. And here you can see there, it's not so, it, it's far less flat. Uh, so it is it's pretty strong and then it drops in the middle of the gap and then it goes up again. So in this case you might say maybe the magnets are a little bit too far apart and it might fix uh, this dip becomes less uh, and it might as well fix the other tiny tiny dip here. It might it could also improve this dip a little or this uh, peak a little bit if so you can move the magnet structures the front and back a little bit further away and then this becomes almost flat at least over a, f a few millimeters so really really linear unlike uh, this design i think but still uh who knows let me know what you think um at least i modeled it the correct way um in the picture, and someone else said as well, the magnets are spaced apart further in their design. But it doesn't improve things. It doesn't get nicer by doing that. So more like this. So six millimeters in between the magnets instead of four. It doesn't lose much field, but it, it, uh, it, it is not as clean as this, it becomes more ragged and I don't know. And it becomes like this. I don't think it actually got mu much wider or well, it's hard to say because the scale, the scale here also changed. So it probably did get wider, but I'm not sure if it looks much better. Uh, it's uh, less strong, of course, not by much. Tiny bit lower, but 
it doesn't make like a huge difference to begin with. Um, we could also do the same measurement of front to back. See how flat that is. Mm, we have to read this one the other way around by the looks of it. <laughs> so it is, again, very strong near the magnet and then it drops off almost like this. But yeah, the only thing that it should make it linear, I think, is that the other magnet structure does the exact opposite. Uh, but a push-pull, for instance, just remain having a, a flat magnetic field almost. So even with an excursion of one millimeter, it's as strong as minus one millimeter or at zero excursion. And that's the difference between this design and the other design. <coughs> so I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. See ya. Bye-bye.